she was a fright she was frightful and then i did go a curvy maze path did i even do maze all right yeah i did maze <laughs> Hello dears, Natalie Locke here with episode 33 of Write the Story, where I give you a writing prompt and 10 words to include in that writing prompt to write the story. You have about 600 words worth of space if you write really tiny, but a flash fiction is usually a thousand words or less. Microfiction is under 250 words, which I tend to do sometimes. Didn't do that this time. The way I do this is I outline five, 10 minutes max, and then I draft my story for about 20 minutes. I don't edit, but that's because I plan to do an entire series where I edit all these stories after maybe I've forgotten about them, but so far I haven't forgotten about any of them. <laughs> Let me go ahead and give you this episode's writing prompt and 10 words. Writing prompt is first love. The words to include are dog walker, Observe, frightful, broken, curvy, wooden, violet, rabbit, stamp, and maze. This is normally when I give you my outline and what changed between the outline and the story, but I am actually going to go ahead and just read you the story. I remember my first love. Her name was Violet. It was my first year in college and I just got a job as a dog walker to help with my social bills. She was frightful of new people. Too many had broken her trust over the years. I had to pick her up twice a month for two dump months straight before she was willingly walking out of her handcrafted wooden crate. That's when I decided to give her a treat and walk closer to a jungle than navigating the maze of the city again. The path was clear, surrounded by trees with very little rise and fall. Violet made the straight path a curvy, meandering one, as her extended leash gave her the freedom she never knew. I observed her nose to the ground, her tail untucked from her legs, but continued to stay low. She froze when she spotted a rabbit. I think she didn't even know what to do with it. She pounced up, stamping her front paws into the dirt as she lowered her front, but lifted her tail to the treetops. Her cottontail friend didn't want to play and scurried away. Her tail dropped. I decided to try something, so I picked up a stick. You want to play, girl? I said. Her tail lifted again, parallel to the ground. I threw the stick just a few feet away as she ran to get it. When she came back to me, she darted away again when I reached for the branch. I chased her, starting with a mindset to let her win since she was tethered. But I ended up really trying to get the stick. At one point, I tripped and caught myself. I started laughing. Violet dropped the stick out of my reach and came up to lick my face. I didn't realize I was in love until that moment she showed she loved me. So as you can tell from my story, this was a first love between a person and a pet. Though the pet was not theirs, I think just as anyone who cares for our children, our pets, they end up with a special bond with them. And probably even with a college kid, they probably don't realize how much they love these animals that they're spending all this time with. Sometimes more than the family spends with the animal. And I do have a little idea that uh, eventually my main character does get Violet as a pet. But I didn't have enough room to flesh that out. Let me go ahead and go through the outline. Immediately, the words that stood out to me were frightful and broken. So I was thinking frightful and broken dog. I'd said a uh, curvy maze path because I was imagining the path to be curvy, but I ended up changing that, obviously. I did include that uh, Violet saw a rabbit, but would only stamp at the dirt, even though the word is stomp, but I kind of imagined her paw going into the dirt by pressing her paw into the dirt. It was like leaving her stamp that she was there. It was an image in my head. I probably didn't do well conveying that. <laughs> um, I did keep the fancy wooden crate. I was trying to convey that Violet comes from a very rich family, affluent family, but they probably are just constantly caring about money and they're not home at all, ever. And of course I chose for Violet, that was the dog's name. <laughs> um, I put in here that the main character observed Violet for months, 
but I ended up changing that how I used it in the story and I still don't like it and I'll touch on that. I threw in in my outline but I'm kind of glad I didn't go this route and this isn't even tied to the words. I threw in my outline. Uh, the family moved but I but you'll never forget your first love. And I really didn't like that. I kind of wanted to leave the story where Violet and the main character are still together. That kind of gave me the warm, fuzzy feeling. So we got, I kept frightful dog, but I changed broken to broken trust. So one thing changed. Um, curvy, it wasn't quite a curvy path, but I kept the curviness in the woods. But I did change maze from path to the maze of the city. Kept the rabbit, stamp at the dirt, uh, dog walker as the profession, I kept that. Um, fancy wooden crate was kept, Violet uh, as the dog's name was kept. Then I uh, did change observe her for months to uh, my least favorite line, which I'll throw that in there. Hi. <laughs> Okay, but I mean, I got three, three out of 10 changed. So broken change to broken trust, maze became a city reference and observe became to uh, how the main character observed a violet in the woods. Now I think would be a good time to give you my least favorite line. My least favorite line, a specific line, and it's only because I had to use this word, was I observed her nose to the ground. And the reason I don't like that line and we tried to avoid it is that observe, I looked, I watched, I saw, those are filler words. That sentence would be so much stronger if I just said her nose was to the ground. But by saying I, I observed the nose to the ground, it's a reader reading that will see the filter now. Like it takes a, when in writing, we're trying to make the reader feel what our MC feels. But if we tell the reader what our MC feels or tell the reader the MC sees this instead of just saying the dog's tail is down, it it reminds the reader that they're looking through a lens. There's a veil keeping between them and the story and they won't get lost in the pages like we want our readers to. So I ended up having to use observe because it's one of the 10 words, but I don't like it. I bet there was a way to use observe where it wouldn't take the reader out of this, but it's okay. It's okay. It'll be fine. It's okay. <laughs> but now my favorite line, and it just came to me at the very end. As I was writing, I was imagining the violet coming up and licking my main character's face and then just seeing that full trust. And for the line of, I didn't realize I was in love until the moment she showed she loved me. And I love that line. I believe it's powerful. It, I think it's powerful enough to like where you don't realize how important someone is to you until they show you how important that you are to them. It's this connection that we have. And I think it's beautiful. Hopefully this story, uh, my version of first love moved you. I hope it moves all my readers. I can definitely see some things that I'll edit maybe in when I go back through and edit all my stories again, but I'm definitely enjoyed this story. It gave me warm fuzzies. And I hope if you wrote your own story, this prompt led you to a warm fuzzy place. Even if your story ended up tragic, there was at least that moment of warmth in your story. Because with a writing prompt like First Love, how can we not? I'm sure someone out there is probably going to make this dark and twisted, but it's okay. I bet it will still move me and be a wonderful flash fiction. As always, I hope you find enjoyment in your day, your week, your month, and your year.